One thing that really irritates me is slow walkers. They just really do my head in and I just can't stand when people walk slow. It's like, move faster, please. If I could only have one meal, it would be pepperoni stuffed crust with some cheese on chips and a cheesecake. The worst film I've ever seen is Hail Caesar as it has no storyline to it. I can live out my dog, Kia, because she's just so lush. Um, whenever I'm having a bad day, she's always there, just like clutch with her or play with her. When I'm older, I'd like to be a tattoo artist because I really like drawing. And... The artist I would really love to see live is James Arthur. Uh, my celebrity BFF would be Brendan Urie from Panic! at the Disco, just because he's awesome. The one thing I could not live without is music. When I'm not in school, probably my favourite thing to do is either go out and play football with all my family or stay in my bedroom and listen to music and sing because, like, you know, I don't like to do in front of people when I'm on my own. It's just, like, one of my, like, things that no one really knows about. Hi, I am Joe and I am in year nine. Hi, I'm Chloe and I'm in year nine. Hi, I'm Cassie and I'm in year nine. And I'm a young carer. And I'm a young carer. And I'm a young carer. A young carer is someone who um, looks after someone with either a disability, a mental health issue, or a substance abuse issue, so alcohol or drugs. I look after my mum and stepdad because they've both had a stroke. I'm a young carer because my dad has mental health issues, he has um, anxiety and depression, he, and he does have um, a multiple personality disorder, so sometimes it's just like a bit hard around the house, so it's just like mum, because mum two years ago um, she had um, pneumonia. She just takes, she can't do a lot of things, so we, she can't do some things because of her chest. I just have to help out around the house with my brother or with my dad, making sure he feels okay. It's just helping around the house with whatever they need. It's like if they need help with moving around the house, then I help them like that. Not every, every day-to-day -day thing isn't the same. It's like some days I won't have as much to do, some days I won't have more. Typical reaction is, um, I feel, I'm sorry for you. They don't really react. They just say, oh, okay. Why are they sorry for me? They either just go like, okay, or they just like, give like an awkward silence. And some people just don't really understand. So they don't really think much of this. So they just like leave it at that. I like people who react and say, okay, and just let me get on what I need to get on with. Like nothing's wrong, it's just, an extra thing I've got going on in my life. Because I'm not really going to tell anyone I'm a young carer because I don't feel like they really need to know if it ever came up in like a conversation or something and I said it's just like I don't just be like oh okay. Our well, life is like a game of Jenga one wrong move and it all falls down and this really represents our lives because like we have so much stuff to do and it's just like if we do one wrong thing everything could go wrong or everything could go bad or it's like just things can't happen then it's like we all want to do stuff with our life but sometimes just that fear of leaving them on their own like sometimes I think it's just nice for someone to be this like oh, are you okay today or how was your weekend was it okay or something just like just to be there like Keep it all like positive, nothing negative. People can help me and support me with let let me get on what I need to do and sometimes help me if I'm feeling a bit down. When they've had for pretty much all your life, when you've been brought up with all those things, I think as much as you do get used to it, you still would like better. So the way we've identified young carers in our group is by them coming to us. I think some children would not necessarily be recognised by other agencies, but they are by us. That they're supporting people inside the house and doing things that go above and beyond. That pretty much identifies our young carer and if they need our group, be it for just a couple of sessions or for the year, that's what we're there for. We bounce ideas off each other, they lift spirits, I think our young carers are an inspiration and I'm just so lucky to be part of it.